it's all about the cool factor and that's one of the reasons this just looks so dang cool tonight i'm going to unbox and set up the mfj 884 swr and watt meter and you get to watch me do it We want the pretty lights. Here we go. Keeping with my theme of not completely destroying packaging. It's a lot smaller than it looks like in pictures. I wonder if I should have got the giant one, the, uh, the 894, but you know what? We can always buy another one and spend more money. But I didn't want something too big because I'd like to be able to take this out and use it to test the, the antennas on the mobile. Wow, that's beautiful. Well, there we have it. So I made my uh, tiny little one foot jumper cable here. I'll hook this part, uh, hook this up to the radio. My main transmit cable. So on the back of this particular one, there's uh, the high frequency side and the VHF UHF side. So in this application, this is a VHF UHF uh, radio. I kind of wanted the 884 so I would have high frequencies so I could, uh, you know, expand later on. And I think it'll work uh, for checking the uh, SWR on CB radios too. The unit does not require power to operate, it just requires power to look awesome. I'm gonna put the antenna in there. Gently, with firmness. It can be firm and gentle, same time. And then this is from the radio. And it's gonna go into the transmitter spot. Verified which, uh, which part of this cable here was positive and negative, according to uh, my meter and the way it's drawn out here. So when I plug this in, that'll provide power to the lighted display there. Turn our power on. The meter has 12 volt power to light up the face of the dial there. And then we get the radio on because it's super cool. We'll do a couple, uh, couple transmissions to see to see how she goes. Well, the day was uh, always better than I deserve. Beautiful weather keeps getting better. Really lifts my spirits. Um, for radio today, I just. Uh, made a jumper cable and put in a watt meter. I spent evening after evening trying to figure out which, you know, low cost MFJ watt meter to buy. And I had this whole thing about not wanting a cross needle meter because it seemed like it was, I wouldn't be able to figure it out. But I ended up deciding to go with the cross needle meter because it gives me real time information on the forward and reflected power so I don't have to do a ton of testing. And while I'm transmitting, I can just see what the estimated SWR is based on those figures. And that's the kind of thing that will really help me out. The other meters where you have to um, choose forward or reflected power or get your SWR would have been too many actions to complete and completely take away the enjoyment of a session doing radio. So. I'm glad I figured out how to read the cross needle meter. It looks great. The light, dude, it's all about looking cool. And this thing definitely does look cool. Thanks for watching. I love you all.